Maggie, these numbers on the face of it are shocking. Virtually no media organisation wishes to debate it, it seems. What do you make of these numbers and what's going on? Um, good evening, Nigel. Um, I think the first thing I'd say is it raises perhaps more questions than it answers, because the first thing I would say is um, if we have got children as young as four going, being put into hotels on their own without parents, why on earth are they being put there? Um, now, I am a little bit suspicious whether that is the truth um you know i've, I've learned over the past couple of years to be very um suspicious of what the media very often reports but four-year-olds should not be going into a hotel um unaccompanied they should be going into foster placements into places of safety um but the the, the other thing that comes to mind for me nigel is that you know I know from, from my time in the police, um, but perhaps it's even more prevalent now, that many of the young men in particular who come um, on the boats, for instance, they will come without a passport. They will say they are children. Very often they are not. So when we report children going missing, um, it's a very emotive sentence, but I would question how many of these going missing are actually children going missing yeah. and how many yeah. are disappearing into the ether. And for me, it just shows once again how incompetent um, the system is, how uh, neglect runs through it, how the so-called professionals are unprepared. These places will attract paedophiles as well. There are no CRB checks. They are not being effectively checked out. So the questions come again and again, and we, we get, you know, um, a soundbite today because it's reactive to what has happened this week. This isn't just happening this week. It is not going to get better mm. unless no. they, the powers sure that be right. take control. I'm sure that's right. I'm also sure that, as you say, a lot of the so-called children actually aren't, and they've been put in these hotels and they've just disappeared and got off to join the gangs or whatever it is. However, Maggie, what we did notice over the course of this summer for the first time were young single females arriving, teenagers arriving through the, the, the immigration centre at Dover. Is it possible that minors have been removed from these homes and, and have finished up in the sex trade. Is it possible? And if it is, how on earth would we find out? I think absolutely it's possible. And, and, and it is the, the authorities are um, neglecting their their lawful duty to protect children. I mean, you know, many, I don't know the, the makeup of, of many of the migrants. I know we're being told they're Albanians. and But, you know, I look at what's going on in the world. Look at what's going on in Iran. Look at what's going on in Afghanistan with women um, fighting for their lives, really. So it isn't beyond the realms of um, imagination that many of these young women are coming from places like that. And they need protection. We have to, we have to find a way to differentiate between those who are exploiting the system and those who really need our help. And at the moment, we don't have that differentiation. We just get everybody lumped in together and nobody seems to be taking control and, and dealing with the problem that the country faces because we can't um, take in e economic migrants, really. But when somebody is truly fleeing um abuse or you know human rights yeah. um contraventions yeah, we, we you know we do have a, a moral duty uh, to take care of them and for children that is even more important so i well, think the system needs to really get a grip